It's important to remember that communication involves both sending and receiving information. 26% of the respondents in a recent Cornell study cite futility as the reason for not contributing. You can overcome this futility and improve the participation level of your employees by carefully addressing the way you receive information. When a person is truly listened to, he or she feels valued and is more likely to continue contributing to the department's or organization's goals. When you listen actively to your staff, you send the message that staff members and their contributions are truly valued. Listening actively, really listening, includes the following elements. Be sure to let others finish what they're saying without interrupting them. Ask questions to gain understanding. Show others you're paying attention to what they're saying by maintaining comfortable eye contact. Remain open-minded and remember that others have a right to their opinions. Use feedback and paraphrase what others say so they're sure you understand. Observe the speaker's nonverbal signals such as facial expressions and body language as a means to facilitate understanding. Actively listening to your staff is the first step toward engaging their full participation in your organization's goals. Then, be sure to properly acknowledge the ideas and suggestions you've received. It's vitally important to acknowledge that all ideas are valuable.